up with the Maverick Podcast. UG, I am back. How are you? I'm just doing something small, eh? Yeah? No, I'm just doing a video. Yeah? I'm seeing time that we have spent on the moon, eh? This cheese. Hey. 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 I'm just recording a personal video for a friend. A video. I'm just recording my own stuff here. I'm on my own stuff. But I work with a corporate company. I'm not a threat to anybody. Yes, yes, even as like the procedures of the hair, hey. someone stays in 20 minutes. Ah, we it's been 20 minutes, eh? Yes, yes. Hey, okay. We have to consult to what is he doing. Ah, okay. I'm just... Uh, someone's property. It's not like it's no money. I know. I'm, I'm just doing a small video for like 10 minutes, then I go to play basketball. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm a resident here. I always jog around here and everything. Hey, okay. Yeah. Call it, bro, eh? Ah, peace. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Protocol, protocol. Protocol. So yeah, um, as usual, back to my podcast, uh, dedicated, um, I said I would make 30 minutes every day, I said I would at least dedicate myself to make a video every week, so this week there was a topic that was really on my heart, and that was um, resilience, yeah, and uh, I always post, um, you know, I, I always do a weekly quote, yeah, so let me just... Um, I always do a weekly quote. Let me keep the camera rolling. I will cut in post. Elia Kim. So, I always do a weekly Q&A. And I always do, um, you know, a weekly uh, Q&A. Sorry, I always do a weekly quote. Um, that just motivates um, the Mavericks that I always treasure. All those who subscribe, uh, both uh, on Twitter, on YouTube, on TikTok, and then also I always do a weekly Q&A. So, this week's weekly quote was, um, resilience is developed through perseverance, testing your limits, even when circumstances are challenging, keep pushing forward, even when things don't seem to be going your way, hashtag attack the week. So resilience, man, you know, this resilience thing, um, I'm just going to drop in um, a definition by Meta AI. Um, yo, yo, I be peeping meta AI a lot, yeah. So it's 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 something that has really enhanced my workflow. I know many people, uh, you know, use AI lately. So yeah, let me see. So meta AI, meta AI, meta AI, meta AI. Building resilience. All right. So Meta AI, definition by Meta AI, resilience is our ability to bounce back from adversity. It's not about avoiding challenges, but about facing them head on and growing stronger because of them. When we build resilience, we develop a sense of purpose, adaptability, and emotional intelligence. Well, before I get into the weekly Q&A and how I answered my own weekly Q&A, for me, uh, resilience... From a sporting perspective, let me put it this way, from a sporting perspective, resilience for me is how do you get up when your back's against the wall? How do you build that mental toughness around you? How do you build that, you know, that state of mental resolve and you feel like, yo, I think I can do this. I think we can get out of it. You know, taking me back to, I'll use basketball because that's one of the games that has really um, built my resilience as a person, as a maverick. And... Right as Gulu Hawks. So, first quarter. Uh, let's just cut through the first quarter. Halftime, we were down 41-13. I'll never forget that game. It was at the YMCA. It was a playoff game. And I, being the captain of the team, it was a very big task for me because I didn't know what the coaches were thinking. I'm sure they had to come up with a new strategy going into the second half. And... All Brian Mathum said was, yo, we are going to press 150%. All those of you who know basketball know what the press is. And in my mind, I was like, okay. 
I was ready to just burn my feet, burn my legs, burn my thigh muscles till the final whistle. So we get back on and by my goodness, it was minute after minute of intense pain, intense pressure. The, you know, playing um, a number five role, I had to box out guys that were bigger than me. And we just made every play count. We made every play count. Every kick out pass that we got for a three ball just dropped. Andrew Tonda turned the banners on. Um, I just literally got into a whole other mood of how do I just bring out that, you know, lack of fear in me to, you know, get this game back into our hands. Um, coming out of the fourth quarter, we won that game 85-82. The outcome of that was if we had lost, we were going to travel, we were going to play game two the next day, which was a Sunday. I kid you not, I woke up with my feet dead. My body was banged up. I kid you not, if we had played game two, I wasn't going to survive that game. No way, Jose. However, on winning that game, we were told that uh, one of um, the, the team that we played had fielded a player that was ineligible so we got away with the with with the playoff win we didn't travel to gulu but by my god jesus if we had lost game one that was going to be a tough one for me you know getting through tough basketball games is, is what i bring to life how do i get through those tough kinks of life um how do i just you know build my armor make sure i'm strong in the head um, make sure i'm good and for me, building resilience um, just resonated a lot with me this week. Um, I made so many wins this week, and especially on the Maverick side, there's so much opportunity opening up for us as a group. Um, Work-wise, the wins, the wins were there. The wins were there. I can't really expose much because a lot of it is confidential. But the wins were there. They were good. Um, uh, on the other hand, I put out a Q and A. The Q and A was. If you had anybody, just a second, my weekly Q&A, my weekly Q&A, my weekly Q&A. So my weekly Q&A was if you had a chance to speak to somebody famous, who would it be and why and what would you talk about? Um, The famous person that I would reach out to here again, I love my basketball so much. I definitely would want to talk to a person like uh, LeBron James. I would just want to know what makes his mind tick. I would talk about um, the future and the possibility of probably him investing in... I'd make a pitch for him to invest in Uganda or, you know, i just talk to him about life, man. How has he gotten through life? How is he able to manage all the aspects of life, work, work life balance, you know, a whole you know 24 hour career how does he manage it with family how does he manage you know his uh his group his team uh, what would his investment plans be like for uh, a continent like maybe say africa in particular uganda um that was it that's that's just basically who i would talk to man um for now man i mean i'm i'm, I'm back in entebbe it's good vibes i thought i'd film from where i spent at least you know 35 percent of my life for the last eight years and that's my office so it's 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 purely bulletproof i can get some good content out it's almost studio grade so yeah i figured i'd, I'd just crack it from here and just bring something to you all uh bring something to the screen shout out to our 295 subscribers now the maverick podcast ug i uh, are coming back soon with more uh, collabs just preparing um a, a whole ton uh coming up with some merchandise for you guys i have a lot of winners i have a lot of backlogs on merchandise so definitely just keep locked keep subscribed i'm gonna share some merchandise with you guys very very soon um yeah man it's it's about that time i want to go you know shoot some hoops it's been a minute i haven't really taken care of that uh of that perspective of my life sports wise it's 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 been quite tough you know finding that time to, to play some sport but yeah I am going on I'm going to Dusty View. Yeah, yeah. Let's go work out with the guys. Let's go have some fun. Um, it's census. Hope you all get counted. 
with Maverick Podcast UG. Peace. I'll see you soon. I'll see you next week. I'll keep it coming. We are Maverick, baby. <laughs>